Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the first feature update for Windows 11 version 22H2 is expected to be rolling out quite soon, possibly in October. And as many of you know, Microsoft does have its own PC Health Check app um, that lets you see if your Windows 10 device meets the system requirements to be upgraded to Windows 11. Now, as I have posted previously, the PC Health Check app is not the only tool for checking if you, if you can upgrade to Windows 11. There are a couple of third-party tools out there that are available. And about a year ago, I posted on a third-party open-source Windows 11 upgrade checker tool called Why Not Win 11, which in my opinion I found a lot more informative and gave a lot more detailed information and was a lot more useful than the PC Health Check app. So I thought because the uh, f the feature update for Windows 11 version 22H2 uh, is just around the corner, so to speak, um, just for information purposes, um, I just want to let you know that there is a new version of the Why Not Win 11 app that's been made available with a couple of new improvements since um, I did post a year ago. And the new version um, includes an updated processor list. Um, it also does not display a warning anymore if you run the tool on Windows 11, as you might just for interest sakes want to check if your device is compatible with the next feature update. But if you are running Windows 11 at this stage, it goes without saying that you will get, be getting the next feature update because Microsoft at this stage has not announced any changes to the system requirements from the original release version 21H2 to the feature update version 22H2. So at this stage, using this tool will really just be for information purposes. So if you'd like to um, download the tool, just head over to GitHub um, where the tool is maintained and developed. And uh, um, I will leave a link to this uh, web page down below as um, it will just give you some extra information and the download link will also be available. So those changes are, and the new version is 25001.22H2, which I think is uh, quite uh, funny. And um, it says minor translation updates, minor error handling improvements, removed warning if already running Windows 11 as mentioned. So running this on Windows 11 will just be for information purposes, nothing more than that. And obviously, if you are still running Windows 10, um, you can see if your system is upgradable to uh, Windows 11. And then, as mentioned, there's, they've updated AMD, Intel, and Qualcomm processor lists. And if you'd like to um, download the tool, just head down to the bottom of the page, and you can download the .exe file, which will let you actually do an actual install of the tool on your system. Or like I did, um, I downloaded the zip file, which just makes it a standalone tool. So I didn't want to install it on my system. And once you've downloaded it, just head to your download location. And in my case, I just unzipped the uh, zip file. And then you head into the folder. And to launch the tool, just click on Why Not Win 11. It'll take a second to launch. And just be aware, though, and take note that your smart screen will uh, generate an error. Just click through that. Um, it's not malicious, it's just, it's just that the uh, tool is not known to smart screen on the Windows and in the Windows operating system, but it is a totally safe tool, as I have mentioned previously. And uh, um, as you can see, um, it's telling me my computer doesn't meet the system requirements. And um, the version, as mentioned, 2500, you can check for updates, and it'll tell you I'm already running the latest build. And if you see any red squares with the X, obviously, that means you cannot upgrade if you are running Windows 10. And if everything's um, all green, that systems go, you will be able to upgrade. And it provides a lot more information on the right-hand side here. So as an example, my CPU, the CPU you have installed uh, in your computer compatibility is subject to change. And it goes on to say requires physical replacement on desktops, not replaceable on laptops. So it gives you a lot more information than the PC Health Check app tool. So just want to let you know that if you were interested um, more for information purposes at this stage because the system requirements for Windows 11 haven't changed. You can try out the Why Not Win 11 and check if your Windows 11, um, uh, your Windows 10 and 11 device is compatible for the version 22H2 feature update. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.